Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, a hectic morning, getting going, um, moving from place to place. Uh, we have St Stephen's First School. Um, not coming here, but I'm going to them. So lots of rearranging of how things happen this morning. Hi, I'm Paul Lawler. It's great to be with you this morning. Um, just me this morning, which is probably for the best, given all the rushing around. Um, but we come to morning prayer this morning. Uh, I hope that as we... Uh, home in on Christmas that we're, you're able to start thinking about how you're going to enjoy it in some way or another as we listen to our psalm today or as you join in with me. Um, it be interesting to think if uh, that psalm says something to us about how we can celebrate our readings today. So we're going to be um, reading from Psalm 96 and then I'm going to be reading from Isaiah 51 verses 1 to 8. Let's just take a moment of stillness, a moment of quiet, as we come to prayer this morning. So, O oh Lord, open our lips, that our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we might behold your power and glory. Oh, blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. For Psalm 96. The refrain. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. For all the gods of the nations are but idols. It is the Lord who made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him. Power and splendour are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honour and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the fields be joyful and all that is in them. Let the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord. For he comes. He comes to judge the earth. With righteousness he will judge the world and the peoples with his truth. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. That brings us to our reading from Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 51 verses 1 to 8. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the quarry from which you were dug. Look to Abraham your father, and to Sarah who bore you. For he was but one when I called him, but I blessed him and made him many. For the Lord will comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and will make her wilderness like Eden a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her. 
thanksgiving and voice of song. Listen to me, my people, and give heed to me, my nation, for a teaching will go out from me, and my justice for a light to the peoples. I will bring near my deliverance swiftly, my salvation has gone out, and my arms will rule the peoples. The coastlands wait for me, and my arm and for my arm they hope. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look at the earth beneath, for the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment. For those who live on it will die like gnats, but my salvation will be forever, and my deliverance will never be ended. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, you people who have my teaching in your hearts. Do not fear the reproach of others, and do not be dismayed when they revile you. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like wool. For, but my deliverance will be forever, and my salvation to all generations. This is the word of the Lord. We come to our time of prayer, but first, the words of the Benedictus. Let us look towards the east of Jerusalem and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Look towards the east of Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Come to our prayer this morning, our intercessions for the world, for ourselves, for the church. Almighty God, as again we come to another day of what decision, thinking about what decisions are going to be made, about how we're going to be over these coming weeks. Lord, may you be with us. May you give us peace. May you give us rest in the midst of all of the turmoil that surrounds us. Lord, as we think of others, uh, not just ourselves, but family, friends, neighbours, people around us who have various issues that they're dealing with, Lord, may you pour out your goodness to them as we think of them, as we lift them to you. May you pour out your goodness to them. Lord, we think of all those in leadership. For our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, and all in cabinet, in, in government, in the civil service, in all of those who are seeking to lead us through this time. Lord, will you give them wisdom? Will you give them strength and confidence to do the right things and to even discern what the right things are? Pray that for leaders throughout our world. For leaders taking up office, for leaders taking, putting down office, for leaders seeking to do the best for their nation, but also, Lord, I pray that they may be able to look to the greater good of the planet that, we, that you have placed us on. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With our church here in Worcester Diocese, we pray today for the Protestant Church of Central Germany, the EKM. 
we pray for them, the Lutheran church, partner churches in Belarus that they have. Pray for all of the young people who there in Belarus are experiencing uh, penalties in their personal lives due to involvement in demonstrations for political change. Lord, help us to think of those for where their, their views are seen as revolutionary, not necessarily in just thought, but in taking control in ways that others seek to prevent. Lord, help us to think openly, speak openly, but act with kindness and love. So, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as kingdom people across this diocese, we pray that we may be kingdom people who share hope. And Lord, give us all courage to be a listening ear for those who are currently struggling, bringing comfort where appropriate and where we can. Lord, help us in the busyness that many of us are, uh, are engaged in, are surrounded by. Help us to be able to give time, that gift of time to others. For some of us, I pray too that we can do that for our families as well as for those that we serve. And Lord, we pray for churches throughout the world. Today we pray for the Diocese of South and Kole in Uganda, Bishop Nathan, and Elderet, the Diocese of Elderet in Kenya, Bishop Christopher. And to picture what the day is breaking like in those places as we sit here in Britain and surrounded by grey weather and rain today. And what their day is breaking forth like. How different their context, how different um, the things that they have to do, how different um, the way things are done. Lord, I pray that in the differences they may be able to uh, know your love, your goodness, your guiding. So Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, I pray now that we may be able to just spend some time listening for you. What do you have for us today? What would you have us pray for? What would you have us do? What would you have us not do? Lord, pour out your spirit upon us now, wherever we are. Let us be able to discern your presence in the space that we occupy. Lord, help us to take a minute not to rush to the next thing, but just for, to tarry for a second, for a moment. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, speak to us. Come, Lord Jesus, hold. Maybe that you can still hear me. Not altogether sure. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, who at the first, at your first coming, sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the mysteries and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and be made ready, make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I do hope that you could uh, at least hear that closing of uh, prayer today. Um, do join us again uh, when we're in more stable uh, places, perhaps stable. Uh -huh. um, and I'd hope that you can join us with our services over this coming weekend and into uh, the celebrating Christmas uh, next week. Be blessed and be a blessing. Thank you.